We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014 as you get a look at Levi's Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi's Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle. Green Bay's offense coming back out here, and Charles, I want to talk about their week one game, the win over Minnesota. If anybody questioned whether Aaron Rodgers would be motivated to start this season, they shouldn't have questioned that. He was terrific. 364 yards passing, four touchdown passes, two of those to Devontae Adams in that 43 to 34 victory over Minnesota. Well, they were so smooth in that game. Came out of it like they had had a tremendous preseason. They played preseason games, looked the part, didn't they? He executed from the word go. You mentioned how great Rodgers was. Also spread the ball around a little bit too. So this is a Packers team. They heard all the whispers in the offseason about being 13 and three, and it was a fluke. They wanted to prove against a division opponent who's really good, Minnesota that it was not a fluke, and Aaron Rodgers is on top of his game. Those 43 points, by the way, the most that the Packers have scored in an opener in franchise history, and going back to Rodgers, he moved past Eli Manning and into seventh place on the all-time passing touchdown list. Yeah, and how about the schedule for them now? They host Detroit, and then a monster game in New Orleans against Drew Brees and the Saints. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Rodgers. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. Stiff-armed him. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. The holding penalty and negates a good return as they'll start just past the 20. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Behind the chain, second and 12. To throw is Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And all the way down to the 29. A big play there for the Niners. And a very appropriate gain as well, 49 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Draw play, Garoppolo gives to Moster. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. No gain on the delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first and ten, it's Mostert. 
And he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Raheem Mostert taking it in. And the Niners have taken the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turning to his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. At their own 24-yard line. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and four. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Following the delay, here's second and nine. Working from the gun, Rodgers. This complete to Jones. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And yeah, he's going to be stopped short of a first down as they'll get to him at about the 33. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On fourth down, here's Green Bay's third-year punter, J.K. Scott. The 49ers have Richie James back deep. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Fielded at the 20. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. San Francisco coming back out here for this next drive. And the 49ers in, in week one taking the field for the first time since their loss in Super Bowl 54, wound up taking it on the chin, falling 24-20 to Arizona. And we all know the troubles that Northern California, really all of California's had with wildfires. This game was in danger, CD, of maybe having to be postponed 
home, but the smoky orange skies, they dissipated enough to get the game in. And the 49ers, though, they continue to have trouble with the Cardinals. Now nine losses in their last 11 meetings. Yeah, and you know the preparation for that game had to be interrupted at different times, especially for San Francisco. There was talk about maybe moving the game to Arizona and then flipping that game back later to San Francisco. The bottom line, you just hit it. Nine out of the last 11. Arizona has beaten San Francisco, but even more importantly, they really improved in the offseason. So San Francisco knows they have a true rival now when they try to defend their division crown. And guess what? They go on the road the next two weeks. Both games in New York, the Jets and then the Giants in week three. But I like what the Niners do. They go cross country, they play, and instead of flying all the way back, they go to a, 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 a meeting place, and this time it's going to be in West Virginia at the Greenbrier. And if you haven't been to the Greenbrier, Brandon, you ought to go. What a great place for them to go. They'll go and get their training in before they play week three against the Giants. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now, first and 15 following the delay of game. From the gun, a run with Moster. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. They've got second and 12 from the 36. Now Garoppolo. And he finds the tight end, Reed. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Garoppolo to his tight end, Kittle, for a Niner first down. George Kittle is easily one of the elite tight ends in the NFL. Back-to-back -back seasons of 88 and 85 catches. We just saw another one right there. Anytime he lines up on the field, you better treat him as a primary receiver and make sure you have a second guy in the vicinity to try and cover him. False start backs him up five, first and 15. Let's go, Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He finds Taylor, complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be second and 10. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. On second down, Mostert. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third and four. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. First and ten. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert, and he'll be taken down at the 34. The Preston Smith there on the stop. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. On second and nine. 
Garoppolo. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there and a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And he stopped immediately there. Mostert, the ball carrier. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Kirksey. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Preston Smith on the So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Niners seven. Packers nothing. The Niners on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, this from 37. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So first and 10 after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A gain of six there on first. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the 49ers add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. 
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. This defense is really fooling around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 13, it's a first down. So many times someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year, and as an end result, broke 1,000 yards in a season rushing for the first time in his career. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. But it's going to be second down. All right, CD, I want to fit in your preseason predictions here. This is now our fifth year together in the booth. Hard to believe time flies, but it's an annual tradition that you tell us how you think things are going to shape up in each conference. Let's start with your thoughts on the AFC. All right, let's start in the East. I like the Bills. In the South, I like Indianapolis, despite their loss on opening day. In the north, I like Baltimore, and out west, of course, I like Kansas City. For wild cards, I like the Chargers coming out of the west. I think that in the east, New England is going to get the nod. And then out of the north, I'm taking Pittsburgh. Remember, we got that extra team in the playoffs this year. And then when the playoffs break down, I do think it's going to come down to Baltimore and Kansas City in the AFC. And Baltimore, by a nose, goes to the Super Bowl. And just to be different from you, I like your conference championship matchup. I'll take Mahomes and the Chiefs heading back to the Super Bowl yet again. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, it's Jones. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. On third down, here's Jones. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. He was brought down. Eight yards there. First down, Green Bay. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. And now here's a carry heading left. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well defense right there. He saw the play in front of him and able to hold the point of attack. Then he sheds it and goes and makes a tackle for a loss. 30-yard line, second and 12. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Packers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Now Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Packers. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. 
They go back to the ground with Jones. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 11 now. Rodgers caught by Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Touchdown, Packers! Devin Funches there to make the grab. And the Packers are back with it a score. That was quite the call down around the goal line on fourth and goal. Yeah, they fake the run, pull it out, throw it. And as a defense, I've been in that spot before, and we see it all the time. You almost have to overcommit against the run. You have to almost sell out and say, they're going to run it, go make a play. They got fooled on that one. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14-7. to So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Richie James on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. Number credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And Debo Samuel's another one of those young receivers that not only looks like a running back, but plays like one after the catch. And he had one of the best seasons among 2019's rookie receivers. Just over 800 yards receiving, but by the time the playoffs hit, he had become WR1 for the 49ers. And now with the departure of Emmanuel Sanders, that should give him even more looks. Look for him to catch the ball downfield and also take it out of the backfield. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Burks on the tackle. Vanderbilt's own Oren Burks had the tackle defensively. Yeah. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Garoppolo finding his tight end, Kittle. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. 
The Niners on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 40. 18 yards, first down Niners. First good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First is Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. 40-yard line. Second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Steps away to his left. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 21. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. All right, this gives us a chance, Charles, to go back to your playoff predictions. We covered the AFC. What do you see happening in the NFC? All right, let's go with the division winners. Dallas in the east, Green Bay in the north. Let's see, New Orleans in the south, and out west, San Francisco. Wild cards, I think two are coming out, come from out west. Arizona and Seattle. And the third wild card, I think it's gonna come from the south, and Tampa Bay gets in. Now, I don't believe Tampa Bay's going to the Super Bowl. I think New Orleans and Seattle will slug it out for the Super Bowl champs, and I'm going with New Orleans to find their way in. Okay, so you got the veteran breeze against Lamar Jackson in the Super Bowl, and who ultimately do you have winning that one, CD? Oh, yeah, the old head and the kid, right? I'm going with the kid in this one in a Super Bowl classic. Baltimore wins the championship. All right, just so I go on record, I mentioned I'll take the Chiefs, and I'm going to take them over the Packers. So I think we'll have another young and old QB mix. Packers, a little bit of a surprise getting in there, and I'll take Mahomes with a repeat title. I love it, a rematch of Super Bowl one which was called the NFL-AFL championship game, actually the world championship game when they played it back in 1967. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He'll get this off to Jamal Williams. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Intended for Devontae Adams. Incomplete. Akello Witherspoon on the coverage. Yeah. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Rodgers. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. So now a fresh set of downs. First and ten after roughing the passer. A play fake from Mostert, now Garoppolo. And this one complete to Reed. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. 32-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Garoppolo now. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. Garoppolo, seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. They hand it off to Mostert. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 17. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Raheem Mostert averaged 5.6 yards per carry last year. That was second in the NFL. So it's safe to say that it paid off that he patterned his work ethic after his hero, Frank Gore, the former 49er. That's a guy who really shows you how to go out and get it done each and every day. Where he most have patterned him and had a breakout season in 2019 with the 49ers. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A handoff running left is Mostert. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. A 31-yard attempt. And Gold is able to put it through. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Mostert. 
It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. They'll run with Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the 49ers add six to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. touchdown taken in at the three and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 so here are the Packers now they get set for their first possession of half number two and their halftime hole now even deeper and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them they were down at the half now as you mentioned they're down a little bit bigger but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. The ball carrier. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 25 on second down, Rodgers, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Complete. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. One of the underrated aspects of Devontae Adams' game is his toughness. He had to battle his way through injury last year, and while his numbers may have dipped, he was still the number one target for the Green Bay Packers and their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, and still one of the best receivers in the league. Constantly works on his footwork, constantly works on how he gets away from defenders in order to get open. He's a guy that number 12, his quarterback, trusts implicitly. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. With a handoff to Aaron Jones. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Again, it's Jones. 
And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. The tackle made. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of... And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. I couldn't quite hear, but I can imagine it was a big look out to the quarterback as Nick Bosa got to him yet again for another sack. The 2019 Defensive Rookie of the Year, he continues to make an impact now, and I expect that for seasons to come. Not only is he a great player himself, because of his work, because of his excellent play, he makes everyone else in that defensive line that much better too. It's third down and 15. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. From the gun, it's Rodgers. It's caught by Funches. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. Now, there's a target that just about any quarterback would like to throw to. Devin Funch is one of the big body receivers in the league who can go up and get it. Former Carolina Panther played one game with the Indianapolis Colts in 2019 before breaking his collarbone. Excellent hands, monster target, kind of forgiving target for a quarterback. The Packers really need him to develop and give them another option on the perimeter. Now, CD, let's take a moment here and get your thoughts just on week one in general. Certainly no shortage of storylines, but I'm curious, after one week, which teams really caught your eye? Well, teams with continuity certainly did. Kansas City, the defending champions, they were sharp in their season opener, as was well Baltimore, who, of course, has title aspirations, getting upset in the playoffs last year. How about a couple of big surprises? What about Washington coming back from a big deficit against Philadelphia at home, getting a win for head coach Ron Rivera. What a big game for them. And, of course, Jacksonville. Everyone's talking about how this team has just been dismantled. They'll be lucky to win two games. They won a big one against Indianapolis. And, of course, all year long, Long. We'll follow the New England Tampa Bay ledger, won't we? In this case, New England, with all their changes, they get a win. Tampa Bay, with all their additions, they take a loss on the road at New Orleans. Yeah, you know that that coach in New England slept a little bit better than the quarterback down in Florida after week one. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and ten, it's Mostert. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Christian Kirksey. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. It's a first down following a gain of three. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Yeah. 
Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. On the tackle that time, Dean Lowry. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 45 on second down, Garoppolo. That catch good for five. It's third down. And one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. This is Mostert. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first. And they won't try and pooch it. It's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Throwing again. Rodgers complete. This is Lewis. Rogers. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Packers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time it's third and three. To throw is Rodgers. And that's complete to Lewis. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. The end result, 21 yards. And This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Rodgers now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quickly because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Here's second and ten. <laughs> to throw again, Rodgers. This is caught. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make the play on the football. 
Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. The veteran tight end, Mercedes Lewis, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Josiah DeGora there to make the grab. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. The score, Niners 21, Packers 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Here's James. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario tell you what they're looking for and make sure that they're still attacking yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three and guess what it brings up third down that's that might feel three. like a little bit of a lost no, opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time and sometimes against that you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield but what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers ready to take over offensively. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now Rodgers. He's got Lewis. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Rodgers now to throw. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers, that's complete to Lazard. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. I remember when Alan Lazard came out of Iowa State. Many questioned his speed and wondered if he could separate from defenders downfield. He got pressed into action in the middle of last year due to injury for Green Bay and wound up second on the team in receiving yards as he developed and got better each and every week. Remember that Monday night game against the Bears, partner? A late touchdown and a big comeback victory. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard now to the 16. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Rodgers to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 8 on the screen, and it sets up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Yeah, he's got it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Only the Titans converted more red zone opportunities into touchdowns than the Packers last year, and they've got an opportunity here first. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth.
A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And he returns this to the 22. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 22. He'll drop to throw. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Slipping into the backfield for the sack was Oren Burks. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Here we go, here we go. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long to throw it's Garoppolo and they'll get this on the screen to Mostert and out of bounds across the 15 yard line they do get seven out of that but not enough to prevent a fourth down they dialed up the screen pass on third down and for a second it looked like it was all going to come together and they had a chance to pick up a first down but the defense got there and finished it off here comes the 49ers punter now on we think to punt though he's faked it earlier but he was unsuccessful Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. To throw, it's Rodgers. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. First and ten, here's Rodgers. Complete to Jones. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Brandon, it's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. So from the 36 now, first and ten. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, they have had success when he keeps the ball running it, but not in that situation. I mean, I think we got an example of why NFL coaches really don't like their quarterback in the running game. Because whether he keeps it or not, he's likely going to take a hit, isn't he? No doubt about it. And defenses, they're looking to put that hit on a quarterback. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game.
So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead. But they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Now James returning. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Garoppolo and the Niners now. Down 24-21, 46 seconds to go. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. to throw Garoppolo he's going to flip one out here to his running back and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here they'll contain him to just four second down well I'm no coach but there's just not time right now for throws that short yeah sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you as coach Madden like to say sometimes you have to take what you want Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now a play fake from Mostert. Now Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. to throw is Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. That one good for 12 yards. And it'll move the chains. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their locker room. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Silicon Valley.